札幌競馬場今日のメインレース第11競争サマー2000シリーズ第52回札幌記念 G2 芝コース 2000m16 頭で争われますスタートしました揃いましたさあ横一線徐々に隊列が崩れていきますがマイネル・フロストがわずかに出をうかがいます外目から13番のネオリアリズムネオリアリズムが花を取りました2番手には14番のレッドリベールが2番手か6番マイネル・フロスト2頭並んでその後7番山勝エースそして1番のヌーボレコルトダンスキャンサーが続いて当選レーブその後ろに15番のモーリスです中段のやや前の外目1コーナーをカーブしていきます先頭に立った13番ネオリアリズムリードは3馬身2番手6番マイネル・フロスト3番手は14番レッドリベール4番手1番ヌーボレコルト5番手7番山勝エースその後中段は集団となりました外から10番ダンスキャンサー8番当選レーブ並んでインコースは4番の名勝スザンナ間に9番ヒットザターゲット外に15番のモーリス差がなく16番ダービーフィズ2番レインボーラインそして11番のスーパームーンが続いていって向こう上面中ほどを過ぎていきますあとは後方から行きました5番のロジチャリスそしてレッドソロモン最後方から3番の萩野ハイブリッド 1000m59 秒9のペース逃げる13番ネオリアリズム残り800の標識を通過して3コーナーカーブに入っています2番手は6番のマイネルフロスト3番手は外目からレッドソロモンレッドリベールが行きましてあとは7番の山勝エース内は1番のヌーボレコルトです徐々にペースが上がってきます4番名勝スザンナ当選レーブダービーフィズ外からダンスキャンサーそして中段の後ろにモーリス中段の後ろにモーリスですネオリアリズム先頭2番手はマイネルフロスト外から接近が山勝エースが3番手前を狙っていきます内は1番ヌーボレコルトそして押しながらモーリスが今4番手の外まで上がってきましたさあ先頭ネオリアリズムネオリアリズム先頭2番手にはマイネルフロストが上がってくるか外からモーリス外からモーリス間山勝エースレインボーラインがぐんぐん追い込んでくるレインボーライン追い込んでくるネオリアリズム先頭モーリス2番手モーリス2番手さらにはレインボーラインが2番手に並んでくるネオリアリズムゴールインネオリアリズム逃げ切りましたモーリスは2着争い Start the Audemars Piguet QE2 Cup and they're off and racing. Dicton was the slowest out of the gates. Pakistan Star was one of the fastest out of the gates. And he's over racing a little bit in the early stages with no real speed to report. The United States has rolled over and takes the lead as they work out of the stretch from Pakistan Star, who now settles better on his back. Blazing Speed is third, racing with no cover. A length and a half away then to Werther, who's already off the fence at the 1600 metre point on the outside of Dicton. A length further back then to the Japanese Galloper, who some thought might lead. He's back third last on the outside of Secret Weapon, and two and a half further back to Designs on Rome at the tail. Inside the 1400 metres, and the leader is the United States for Brett Preble. Shows the way by two lengths on blazing speed. Pakistan Star is third. Werther is tracking lovely fourth, a little bit keen with no tempo. Followed by Dicton on the inside of Neo Realism. They are really crawling for this caliber of Galloper. Followed then by Secret Weapon, who's second last. They're going that slow. The designs on Rome has joined them at the thousand meter point, and the leader. Is now Neo Realism as he rolls forward Marrera and takes over from the United States. Blazing Speed third, two back to Werther on the outside of Pakistan Star as they quicken up. Then came Dicton, two further back to Secret Weapon. Designs on Rome now run off his legs, nine from the speed. Neo Realism, Joe Marrera with the Audemars Piguet timepiece rolling in his mind, comes up to the home corner. 500 metres out, a half on Blazing Speed. The United States placed under pressure. Werther's tracking into the race beautifully. Two further back to Pakistan Star. Then Secret Weapon, Dicton and Designs on Rome. Neo Realism still has it, a half on Werther and Blazing Speed. Pakistan Dan Star, the Jets have been turned on, thundering down the middle, but Neo Realism's got a kick. Pakistan Star trying to reach him with Werther and Blazing Speed. Neo Realism fights on strongly. Pakistan Star tries hard. Japan have won the QE2 Cup again with Neo Realism from Pakistan Star and Werther. Blazing Speed, the United States secret weapon, Dicton and designs on Rome.
show his run. Uh, obviously, the course didn't suit him as it was very, very soft track. And even if he has won in the soft ground before, uh, when he beats Morris at this Sapporo Kinen, I, I think last time when he performed badly, I just think he couldn't handle the going. It was really bad, affects a lot of horse in the race. And the horse himself, he's proven that he's a very good horse. Um, when he came over here to win the Kiwi 2 Cup, he proves that he's a top class. And I'm quite confident that we are going to have him perform at his very best. And on doing so, why not think that he's, he's a chance? He has won international race before, beat, beating some really good horses. I'm very happy and proud to have him as, a, as my ride. It's certainly a tougher competition this time because we got bigger numbers. But you also have to consider that last time when he won, he missed the start. So he had to make it tough for giving them a, a head start. And obviously the, the race suits him because he was at the back and I took off a bit early and he, and he kept running. If I'm able to jump well with him at this time and put himself in a decent position, as if we are lucky enough to get a decent gait, because 2,000 meters race is certainly a race that you need to have a good gait. The gates affect a lot the results of the race, in my opinion, as we're talking about 2,000 meters. If he's able to put himself up there without missing the start, I'm very confident he's going to be right there.